Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we just landed this thing on the surface of Minmus despite having no power generation whatsoever. And we've got a little bit of power left but overall it's gonna be dicey getting back. So we need to get Jeb and Valentina in here ASAP. So I'm just going to hop... Oh! This isn't undocked. Okay. Valentina, I need you to EVA and let go. Get out of there. Okay. Valentina's fine. Jeb, I need you to EVA as soon as you can. EVA. Let go. RCS away from there. The physics, the physics Kraken has got it. And uh, that's fine. The physics cracking can have it. Okay. Jeb and Valentina are both safe. And the base appears to be settling. So that's perfect. We need to get Jeb and Valentina over to the Jeb Gitter. So off we go. Gonna bring Jeb first and then Valentina. And with any luck, We'll be okay getting there without needing, uh... Yeah. Silly phys physics kraken. <laughs> With any luck, we'll be able to get them home without needing power, since I'm pretty sure that when you have an actual pilot, you can throttle up when you have no power. And if that's the case, then we can steer exclusively through gimbling. That would be the idea. So we'll just go ahead and bring Jeb on over here relatively quickly. We'll need to start braking kind of soon, but we'll just get Jeb and Valentina safely ensconced in the Jeb Gitter. And once they're there, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, get them home. All we need to do is get this thing dipped into the atmosphere and it'll get home itself eventually. So that's the current goal. We're going to need to start braking basically now for Jeb. There we go. What's going on over there? Uh, still various physics cracking bits. <laughs> okay. Now, hopefully I haven't obstructed this hatch. That's the idea. The hatch is over here, I'm pretty sure. I think this is the hatch side. No, Jeb! Jeb? You, uh, you okay over there? This must be hatch side. Up you go, Jeb. Come on. Jeb? Jeb? <laughs> he doesn't want to go in. Okay. Uh, I did see board there, but I... Didn't hit B in time. Jeb? Jeb? You, uh, you okay? There we go. Jeb is in. Valentina? Let's go. Uh, go? There we go. Off we go. So let's get her up to about 30 meters per second or so. We'll cover this relatively quickly. And then with Jeb and Valentina in there, we should be able to maneuver back, even if we have to do some awkward Delta V stuff. We're going to keep the probe core in hibernation, obviously. But I think, ultimately, we'll be okay. So we need to shoot past it a little bit, since we need to come at it from the other direction. Let's break. Break. Okay, there we go. 
Come at it from over here. And there we go. Jeb and Valentina are both aboard. I'm going to quick save here, just because I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. And then we're going to need to get out of here. So off we go. We we'll retract our landing legs for right now. We're pulling exclusively from this tank. Our current apoapsis is about three kilometers. Once we get up to 10 kilometers, I'm gonna start heading over for a gravity turn. About like this. And I'm currently attempting to use as little electric charge as possible to make this happen. Ah, don't overshoot. There we go. Excellent. Let's go into orbit mode. Okay. So we still need to get a little bit more speed. At least a little bit more horizontal speed. Okay, I'm gonna... Actually, let's keep burning and see where this ends up. Like that. Yikes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add a maneuver right here. And we're just going to attempt to tweak this to be a bit more like this. It's a really, really awkward encounter. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> that is incredibly awkward. Let's just keep on finding ways to lower this. There. That's perfect. Right there. SAS on to the maneuver node. So this node is in T minus 3 hours, 15 minutes, and 11 seconds. As soon as we get to the maneuver node, I'm going to turn SAS off and warp to that maneuver. And then we're going to burn 318 meters per second. We have plenty of delta V for this burn. I'm not in the slightest concerned about that. SAS off, warp to next maneuver. Now we are burning electric charge, but that's okay. We have astronauts aboard. This is set to hibernating, right? Yes, indeed. Okay. SAS on to the maneuver node. Burn time of one minute and one seconds. So we want to burn this at 30 and a half seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and regular time warp forward a little bit. There we go. And this is a pretty awkward burn, I've, uh, I've got to admit. But it seems to be getting the job done, mostly. Let's focus Kerbin for right now, and you can see we're coming in at nearly a polar orbit, which is okay. I, I don't really care. I just want to get these guys home. You know what I didn't check? I didn't check if Jeb had the green sandstone. I don't think he did. Jeb, did you forget to grab the green sandstone when you were evacuating the Kraken? <laughs> Well, we'll just say that Jeb grabbed the green sandstone. And that I forgot, but he remembered. We'll go with that. Okay, so we're coming in like this. That'll be perfectly fine. Yep, that'll be A-OK. -okay. So, Jeb remembered to grab the green sandstone. Right, Jeb? Yes, Jeb remembered. Oh, look at that. I I literally used it and then noticed that delete all messages exists. I'm actually happy about that. Okay, so we are going to be running out of power relatively soon. So 
what I want to do is when we come down here, this is seven days, one hour, we're coming in from which side? From this side. So right about here in the orbit, I want to go ahead and do a bit of a cheeky radial retrograde burn. About like so. We want to keep our periapsis as being just inside the atmosphere. I want this periapsis though. So let's go to around 30 kilometers as our target. Bring this on down. Okay, that'll do. 1,000 meters per second, we've got plenty for that. Let's go ahead and head to that maneuver node right now because we're gonna run out of electric charge. Come on. There we go. Okay. SAS off. Warp to next maneuver. Oops, I just canceled the time warp. Warp to next maneuver. Okay, we are going to be out of power. And we have no way to generate more. But it doesn't matter. We are now in the correct position. So here we come. We're going to want to burn this at T minus, let's see, 1 minute 20 and a half seconds. Okay. So let's go ahead and warp forward to that right about now. It looks like we're going to be coming in on the dark side, doesn't it? Uh, kind of. But we want to burn this now. And this is going to dramatically change our orbit. Which is perfect, because that's what we need to do. And then after this, it's just a matter of pointing retrograde and holding that attitude, which we don't have electric charge to do, but we do have thrust gimbling. Since we can throttle up without power because we have pilots in here now. So that is absolutely perfect. This is gonna be quite a lengthy burn though, it seems, but I'm getting these guys to the surface this episode. And Jeb definitely remembered to grab the green sandstone. Right, Jeb? Right. Realistically, I, I know in terms of the game mechanics, he didn't, but that was the whole point of doing this. So I'm going to say that he definitely remembered and uh, <laughs> not have to go back to Minmus again, because that just doesn't sound like much fun. SAS on on the maneuver node. There we go. Perfection. So these guys are coming to the surface. There's no doubt about that. At, well, actually, at this point, they aren't. We Do we keep these fuel tanks around for aero braking? Do they impact our re-entry module? I think they do. Well, maybe. They, they would probably eject off to the sides, right? So maybe they don't. But maybe we should keep them around for breaks. I mean, we are killing a lot of speed with this burn. There's no doubt about that. And then we're going to head towards orbital retrograde. But we're not going to actually... Uh, well... Yeah, we're not going to burn there until we hit the atmosphere. And then we're going to burn at orbital retrograde to attempt to hold that attitude, is the idea. This has built-in ablation, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That's actually ideal. Okay, let's go ahead and head towards the retrograde node. Okay. Coming in a little bit steep, but that's actually probably fine at this point. Let's go ahead and warp forward at this point until we enter the atmosphere. 
We've drifted off a little bit. And I'm just going to throttle up a tiny bit to correct our attitude. There we go. And back to the atmosphere. Fantastic. And now we're just going to burn all remaining fuel. Trying to maintain this attitude and burn as much speed off as we can. We are currently 60 kilometers above the surface, and we've got quite a lot of air between us and the surface. Let's go to surface retrograde mode. We have a lot of speed to burn off, though. There's no doubt about that. And here comes the heat. If we have to eject these, we can, but I'd prefer not to at this juncture. We are going to run out of fuel in our side tanks in 25 seconds. This is definitely a dicey re-entry. We are bleeding speed pretty quickly. Like how our delta V is just fluctuating wildly. We're a bit of a fireball right now, but uh, we've still got ourselves five more seconds of burn in this. Actually, I don't think this is accurate. I think we have more than five seconds worth. Oh, we're burning purely this. This tank now. That's fair enough. We lost attitude. Okay. I'm going to continue arrow braking since we're not getting overheat. Okay. And now we'll ditch that. And we'll ditch that. And we're perfectly safe. Drogue chutes out. They are currently safe. Main chute out. That's currently safe as well. We'll keep the ablator attached. And uh, at this point, we can just physics warp to the surface. That was a dicey re-entry, but we managed to do it. I'm kind of surprised that that worked, but ultimately, Jeb did his job. Managed to hold that attitude for long enough. So yeah, great job, Jeb. And he definitely remembered to bring the green sandstone, right? Right, Jeb? Right, Jeb? I'm sure he remembered to bring the green sandstone. That was the entire purpose of this mission. <laughs> I mean, we did go and grab the green sandstone. We just put it in the other thing, so... Jeb... You, uh, you definitely brought it. I know he didn't, but, uh, we're pretending he did. <laughs> so, with that in mind, here we are on the surface. We recover the vessel. And in reality, I think the, the game loaded back in a save that was before we grabbed the green sandstone but we did go and grab the green sandstone we loaded it in the craft and then he grabbed it out of that craft and brought it back with him so we uh we completed this contract <laughs> as far as i'm concerned so that was the green sandstone there we go fantastic now, next episode, we are going to be continuing to work on cleaning up our contracts. Specifically, we did this one too. The save must not have properly saved, but we, we completed this one. So, there we go. That's completed as well. So now all we need to do is these here, and those will be in the next episode. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.